Right, how to start a PAW55 from cold. The most important thing is to make sure that the level of the fuel in the tank is level with the needle valve. If it's too high, the fuel will siphon in. If it's too low, the engine will find it harder to draw the fuel to the engine. It's better to have it a little bit low than have it a little bit too high. First of all, check that there's fuel in the line. Connect to the engine. Put your finger over the Venturi. And flick it over two or three times to prime the engine. Now increase the compression until the engine fires. compression off to be able to stop the engine. Now to start the engine once the engine's been run and is warm, if you turn the compression back to its original setting, draw fuel in just one. That's backed off. Remember where it came from, that was from here. Turn it back to there, suck in just once. stopped it. Turn it back there. Now we'll find the optimum setting. That's about the optimum setting. It's bad for the engine if the engine's over compressed. I'll now demonstrate over compressed running. To start again, turn the compression back to the starting position. You notice when I increase the compression, you could hear the engine revs die and the engine start to labour. That's bad for the engine. When the compression screw was backed off you could hear the revs rise till it came to the optimum position. If you went too far a misfire would occur. The correct setting is just off the misfire. So you could see the misfire, you could see the optimum setting. Now we'll deal with the needle. So if we turn it back to the starting position, draw the fuel in once. I opened the needle to start off with and the engine got richer and slowed down. If the engine was stopped in that position the engine would be more difficult to start. I then screwed the needle valve in, the engines rose and got higher and higher and higher and then when they started to go too far a misfire occurred and then the engine cut out altogether. I've now returned the needle to its original position. We're now at the starting position so one choke flick Let's try two choke flicks. So, now we'll go to the commonest cause of a non start. First of all, a couple of choke flicks. That easy. Now, if the engine's flooded, 
Now see what happens. I'll now flood the engine on purpose. Now the engine should start there, but the engine will not. And the only way to clear that is to increase the compression and flick at the same time. Until you get some reaction. You can hear that it's trying. But you have to now return the compression screw to under compress. Let's try that again. Now the Venturi is completely full. The engine should start there, but the engine will not because it's too much fuel. So again we have to chase the fuel out by increasing the compression. Once it starts to fail like that, if you now return the compression down to its original starting position, you could hear as the engine started up rich, the engine was bogged down and the revs were low and the revs rose as it cleared the excess fuel out and everything was fine. And then, now then, in the starting instructions it tells us to start with the needle valve two and a quarter turns open, two to two and a half turns open one, two and a quarter turns open, midway in between draw some fuel in Turn it to the starting setting. Turn it back to the starting setting. And everything should be okay. Now it's your turn.